Hey, what is up, fellow critics? Narno here, back at it with another reaction for you guys. So today we're gonna be checking out a Quiet Place Day One. Um, big fan of the other two Quiet P uh, Place movies. Thought they're really good. Um, and now we see that this one is a prequel. Uh, so we're seeing it when it all hit the fan, just like the the second movie. I seen that the second movie kind of did that as well. Showed the family when you know when those craters craters were first hitting the ground and all these monsters coming out so we've seen a little bit of that and i thought that was really cool and i really enjoyed that part of the movie so pretty much we're getting that movie we're getting all that when they first hit so hopefully it's good and uh, i guess we're gonna find out right now so before we start guys make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you want to see this full length reaction check us out on patreon all right let's go ahead and start it up Oh yeah, that's that's speaking of loud. Yeah, that shit's loud. Holy crap! It's called this place is shit. This place smells like shit. <laughs> and Milton oh. has shit taste in music. He's like, yo, I like my music. All right, so she has cancer. I'll go if we get pizza. Didn't we have pizza yesterday? Did you eat it? No. That wasn't pizza. <laughs> you gotta get the good pizza. Pizzas easily. Like Wait, why help. is a cat yeah. on a, all right, on a leash? But um, I see this already is playing with the sounds, very loud. It's letting you know it's loud in New York. Damn, I didn't realize I was hospice. Oh man, I'd like to see a really good marionette show. Oh. Oh, that's the guy from uh from the second movie. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Already has my attention. If I seen that. Oh. You can't have a cat in here. It's a service cat. <laughs> service cat. Time to go when you see the the army starts you know, driving around in their freaking Humvees. We're getting pizza in the city and then we'll go back. No, we're not getting pizza. Yes, not getting we are pizza. getting Okay, pizza. you gotta calm down. Calm She's down. like, yeah. Don't tell me calm down. I, I feel the same way. I love pizza too. Uh-oh, I think it's about to hit. Ooh, damn. So what is it? Is it like, are they coming in something or are they going straight? I don't know. They got, it gotta be in something, right? I think you would, they would burn up. Oh, oh took him up. Better be quiet. And then, and I wonder how long it is going to take for her to realize that hey, you gotta be quiet. Oh, I think she's probably understanding. Like maybe I should be quiet. Woo. Yeah, holy crap. I think she probably understands like every time something loud happens, it gets attacked. <coughs> oh, okay. Oh, wow, there's so many people. Like they hurt and they can't eat, and they can't scream. They can't do anything. Oh, I got her cat. Cat survived. Oh no. Oh, dude. Be quiet. Yo, that thing went right up in his face. Holy crap. Look how many of them. Woo! So it looks like maybe the army is trying to lure them away. Evacuation, get off the bridges. Damn, looks like everywhere got hit. So they tried to put them on the bridge and then they destroyed the bridge. Or they blew up the bridges so they can't get out. Yeah, that's what they're doing. So pretty much they're trapped. 
on the island. But the problem is, it, there, it wasn't just on the island. So, what's the point? Just punch him, knock him out. Oh. I think you just killed him. I mean, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. You getting that slice of pizza? <laughs> Please don't say you getting a slice of pizza. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, she probably feels like, hey, I'm going to I'm I was going to die either way. I want to get that pizza. Oh, crap. Just kick it up. <gasps> Woo! Damn, they got his ass in one false swoop. They just grabbed him up, kept him moving. gonna be so hard to walk around outside without making a noise out there you're gonna be able to you're gonna have to climb over stuff like broken glass everywhere oh there's little kids and they're smart <laughs> fountain you remain under attack Woo! shelter on water the attackers cannot swim oh so the army knew all this. Okay, they knew they couldn't swim. That looks like everyone's gone. Damn, so many people. Holy crap. I mean, they're making a lot of noise. Dude, that's a lot of noise you're making. Oh my God. Holy crap. They make it way too much noise. Way too many people. Woo! Please! Yo, Please. dude, are you serious? You're about to get me hit. Oh! Jonathan! Jonathan! Woo! Yep. That wasn't smart, now was it? Yep. Okay. Cat. Cat still made it. All right, try to scare me. Suck to be in the subway. A lot of people drown, I guess. So what, he's gonna follow her? Why is he following her? I'm really scared. I don't want to die. Let's just, let's just get out of the way, okay? I mean, he went through a traumatic experience in that freaking, uh, that subway system. And like, it's probably pitch black down there filled with water and he made it out, which is probably crazy. What are you doing? I'm looking for my meds. Why are you looking for your meds? Because every muscle in my body is on fire. <laughs> I think the world <laughs> might be ending. I think this is life's a bad season. Sitting up there, that's the last that'll ever exist. <laughs> All that for some pizza. You're a poet. Not anymore. Oh, she's a poet. He's gonna come and get pizza with you. <laughs> She was like, wait, what? Why? <laughs> right? Get it out, man. You, you want to scream for so long. Just get it out. Yeah. Oh! Ah, she about to bounce on him. Makes sense. This is her journey. She gonna get that pizza and probably just sit there and just... That's it. Oh, that's a great smell. It's gonna be the guy. Yep. <laughs> get out of the area and then go find a corner and be quiet. All ass. Smart. Smart. I don't know. You want to go down there? Didn't you almost drown when you went down there? I 
I want her cold. He's like, I already did this. I did this already. Uh oh. Yeah, look, look. He can't take it. He already did this. Oh. You ready to go? Oh. Oh, they drawn quick. They lucky they got out. Is he really gonna go get medicine for her? Man, it was a helicopter. The helicopter went down. Jeez, how the helicopter went down? Ooh, snap. Is that like eggs? Oh boy. Really? Forget that cat. I'm sorry. That cat will m make it back. He found you in the damn pharmacy. Okay, I like this. We're getting a little bit more, learn a little bit more about him. <laughs> Yo, he was right there. So was that eggs? And like, maybe the egg didn't survive, so they just ate the whatever was left. When he took me to see it play, my bad seed. And after we get pizza, he died. My guy now. Okay, so now we know the whole reason for the whole pizza thing. Oh, damn. Damn, now what? Did all that, and that damn pizzeria is burnt up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's a good man right there. Pizza looks gross though. <laughs> that was nice. Oh boy. Watch your step. Of course, they hit in the hit in the um the horn, causing all of them to go sit over there. Damn! All you gotta do is jump in the water, dude. Oh no! Run! Run! You can make it, dude. Woo! Wow! Yo, it was like a fingertip. Fingertip away. He just made it. Woo! You're safe. You're safe. Right? <laughs> He's like, never going swimming again. It's good to have been back. Oh, damn, girl. And I'm feeling good. Mm. Damn. That's crazy. All right. That was the movie. Man. Really, really good. I really enjoy that movie. Uh, just like the first two, definitely gave you a good story with that and, and builds characters and uh, makes you really like all the characters just like the first two did um really enjoy this first i would say lupita nyong'o did an awesome awesome job even joseph uh quinn he did a really good job as well showing that he got some acting chops as well showing that off um but yeah really really good story really i i really enjoy this First, we get to see how it happened, how, you know, those asteroids hit, all the monsters come out of this, whatever it was. 
and it just starts killing people uh really enjoy that it, i it's crazy that they actually kind of figured out how they worked so early on that hey they they went by sound uh they can't swim so that was actually pretty cool that we see you know they kind of knew that for for you know pretty quick you know i have to say that um but i really enjoy these character arcs so we see uh lapita nuango's character uh you know she is in hospice you know she doesn't have much long to go and you know she just she just wants to go to the city you know and like she, obviously she's ready to go you know she hates having it she hates cancer she wants to you know just just waiting to go got a chance to go to the city let's just you know let's get some pizza you know i'm thinking and then all this crap hits and she still wants that pizza you know and then we come to find out why she wants the pizza because uh she felt connected to her father the fact that you know her father used to take her to get pizza and stuff all the time in the city and you know she misses her father and all that stuff so she was like you know i want that before i die you know one last time before i go and then we meet joseph's quinn character where you know his journey is like hey i almost died legit almost died and just by seeing that cat kind of like you know turn me you know like turn me like like you know like it's just crazy like the connection those two had just from you know what what happened how they came together and had a great friendship just by going through trauma like that you know so it's pretty cool and we see how he kind of evolved like he almost died in that damn subway and then we see him you know all right almost died these things are super scary i'm i'm not i was just being here to, to go to law school you know my family's not even around here i'm by myself you know and then we see him he has to make those decisions those tough decisions again to hey i gotta go back in the subway i think deal with more water you know and he overcome all that stuff and she actually helped him overcome all those things he went to go get her medicine it, it's really it's a really good story uh with those two i think all three movies had really good character arcs and they you know they made you feel and care for all the characters in all three films and i think they did a really good job with this one you know we get to see the monsters again we see them just killing people taking them all out we learn a little bit more about them we see uh he was in that crater and we see like they're opening up like some kind of egg or something we see them eating the egg and then we see another one so i'm thinking those were eggs and just it didn't survive and they decided to eat it not 100 sure what was going on there but they gave you a little bit more to you know learn about them um and i really like the fact that we showed the show the guy from the second movie and how he kind of survived and we knew he survived because he uh you know that he was talking about how we found out they're you know they can't swim and we hopped in the boat and we got away so they actually showing that so i really like how they all you know came together like that that was pretty cool and i, re I really enjoyed the ending uh, we see her, you know, sacrificing herself, uh, you know, for him to get away. And he just makes it. He just makes it. And then we see her, you know, living there. Uh, then we see her, you know, being there, you know, uh, she's happy with her decision. She goes to uh, that piece of place. She's, you know, sitting there looking at a picture of her father. And then we see her walking with the uh you know her ipad or her no what was it yeah see her walking listen to music and then she was like all right you know what i'm ready to go and she takes off the uh the headphones off and plays the music and they come in after her so uh really good wow uh really good i'm i'm very surprised this was uh that good because you know most prequels sometimes they don't hit the mark but they did a really good job on this one and definitely uh some you know definitely connected all of it together and they just do a really good job with the characters in this and then we see the complete opposite one thing i like to say is 
they did complete opposite because we see the first two movies all about being quiet uh and they did that within with the sounds you know you're dealing with the deaf girl so you you don't hear they were going her perspective where you don't really hear anything but they did the opposite with the prequel they made it very loud very loud you constantly hearing noise and i thought that was really cool of how they switched it up so really good job guys let me know what you thought of the quiet place day one did you like it did you not let me know in the comments below so thank you for watching guys make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you want to see this full length reaction check us out on patreon all right guys i'll catch you on the next one peace out